So in this game that we played last night, uh, something happened that set us really far behind that we didn't pay attention to, and I want to add a call uh, to our repertoire. So the enemy team does something really weird here. They have an echo jungle who starts red and paths from red. Occasionally pros do this, but not often. All the way over to this gromp. Usually only kindreds do that if they get a mark on it. Ray is pressuring this Jax really, really hard. Almost gets a kill on him right here. Jax gets uh, the stun and then the flash off. Uh, or Ray gets his flash and Echo comes up here. But we need to look at where the lane is right now. So Jax is still level 1. We've got a cannon minion wave. This is a brutal freeze. And Ray's running Ignite, not TP here. Um, which is a fine choice, but we need to, uh, to adapt to it. So uh, we started on blue side with Trundle. Trundle takes 1, 2, 3 camps here and gets that and then goes up here and that's and right now everything is fine but if we're looking at where the lanes are van is pushing in and is about to zone this vigar there was a brief chance for a gank on vigar about 10 15 seconds ago but it was a very small thing so mid lane's pushing bot lane is pushing and trundle is really good at clearing single camps but the only single camps available right now are all the way across the map for him so there's not a lot of jungle pressure we can exercise on the bot side of the map at all. And then, as we're going to see, Echo just stays up here. He just lives here for a long time, right? Ray can't get anywhere close to these minions. Jax is safe to free farm. Echo's here harassing. And so the call that we need to make in a situation like this, the call we did make was, okay, I'm going to go take some of his jungle, which is an okay call, but there's a lot better call to make. So if somebody is stuck in a freeze, like this and a jungler's camping a lane punishing one or two camps in exchange for i think like three or four waves here that ray ends up losing that the jacks gets free farm off on um the better call here is we need to break the freeze so if we back up here to when we first see echo come top where this freeze is established which is right here okay and trundle's taking this camp instead of going uh over here to this camp Instead, we either need Trundle to cover mid while Zed goes top to help break the freeze, or we need Trundle to run straight top. And so asking the jungler or the mid lane, say, hey, I've got a freeze and I need to break it, if there's no high priority camps to really punish, is probably something we want to add. Because as you'll see, by the time Raymond gets back to lane here, the Jax is level 3 to Raymond's level 2 and still has a freeze going past the jungle, and Echo is free to go right back up there in just a second if he wants. So this put probably our most, uh, well I guess our second most aggressive lane behind. And so now the Jax can do this, you know, um, even though he lost the early game super hard. So by the time that Trundle comes up here, Ray is super low and the Jax has a level advantage, a two level advantage on Ray. Um, so there's no way this is a one fight. And I know you guys didn't know Echo is going to be there either. And I'm not, there's not a single player that's to blame for this. It's a call that we need to add, which is help me break this freeze. You'll see pro players do this all the time, even just to get an advantageous back. You'll help break a freeze. The same thing can be said about mid. If you watch this mid lane matchup, and I'm going to back it up to about right here. If you watch the mid lane matchup, Van's got a ton of pressure. But look where the Vigar is playing. He's not really gankable because he spends almost the entire game right here. He's not losing a lot to turret. Um, he knows right there, but the whole thing happens kind of right here. And so we need to, in terms of lane management, make sure that we are getting people closer to uh, um, sort of the middle or the back and helping to break these freezes. And if you want to back up again, the same exact thing happens bot. So we don't do the jungle any favors, and we also aren't making the necessary call to say, hey, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of this lane position and get a back off. So basically the entire early game up through first blood, we made sure the junk that our jungle couldn't do anything and that our lanes weren't getting huge advantages based off of it. And Ray got punished really hard because of the position of all three lanes.